Hi guys, and welcome to another edition of Pro High Truck TV. We're out and about in the sunny northwest today. Um, well, of course, it's not sunny, it's raining, but we're here to look at something very special. This is DAF's entry into the BB market, and of course, at 19 tonnes, it becomes a, a very serious player in, a, a mar in, a, in, a, in an area and a market that's not quite that congested. However, there's so many people looking to see how BB and alternative fuels are going to help with their CSR and ESG credentials. But this is going to be, in my opinion, a really interesting piece of equipment to fit into that area and really give you something that you're going to have to seriously think about when it comes to looking at alternative fuels. Now, of course, electric vehicles are not cheap and this is no exception. This is eye-wateringly expensive, but it's got some great credentials and, and some of that is a 282 power, a kilowatt power pack which gives it a great range you know of over 175 miles of course and that's that's quite impressive when it comes to this size of vehicle it's quite impressive when it comes to a van so to have a 19 ton truck with an 11 ton payload is very impressive it's expensive but of course as you look at ways of procuring and ways of looking at this equipment it's longer term so if this was a diesel vehicle maybe four, five or even six years. But on electric platforms, you know, five, six, seven, eight years, they're going to be more than norm going forward. Of course, this vehicle is almost the same as you would see your diesel vehicle, so a nice standard drive rate body, which you'd expect to see on a lot of 19 ton vehicles. Of course, this is available with temperature control, beaver tails, cranes, etc., etc. And of course, we'll be able to talk you through that. I mean, Pro Green, as we've always say in these, these areas, I've got a solution for Comfort Town leasing and, and can work through a, a full cost, cost of ownership model for you, uh, the teeth back in, and give you a flavour for how this will fall part of, of any fleet. And I think most big operators today will be very proud to have these pieces of equipment on their fleet and give them that real big city credential when it comes to urban delivery. But of course, 175 miles, you know, is, is, a, is a very good range and it can start to be used in other areas. And of course, we can talk about the charging abilities shortly. And of course, looking around it, your battery packs sit both sides. You know, these are big battery packs, you know, lithium ion phosphate batteries, of course, which a lot of the, the big players are working with and they're designed and fitted by, designed and manufactured by CATL, which are which kind of the 50% the, the of automotive batteries market they have to themselves and they, you'll see them across many other many other vehicles but of course they, they're designed on this particular occasion for this particular vehicle so they fit in really well now of course going back to this it's a fairly standard vehicle you know nice straight brake box standard tail lift you know what's not to love it's, it's a good standard for any any fleet across across the uk now, the majority of these vehicles on when you see them you know ranges of 100 160 kilometers is kind of where it's at this is way way above that 175 miles so well over 200 kilometers so we're giving a really good working day and it's important to to get as much out of these vehicles as possible especially when you look at the cost of them but of course when you start looking at the cost of charging a vehicle like this and you can see a vehicle being charged like this for maybe 30 pounds filling a tank of diesel you know you certainly could be looking at as much as 100 pounds or even more so it's it's very very important that you you consider the whole life cost of a vehicle like this as opposed to going oh my god how much is this truck which we all do but again when you get under the skin we can help you through that understanding of course so looking at this as well you know it's got standard type 2 charging of course you've seen yourself with the dc charging of up to 150 kilowatts i mean really really good really useful so let's have a look what we've got inside and of course I guess for those who are, are used to, to DAF and DAF products, and especially LF, this is, is what an LF looks like. It's, it's, it's exactly reminiscent of the diesel version, and, and why wouldn't it be? And I think some of the, the models that are out there, or, or people who are selling vehicles out there, or trying to sell concept out there, are trying to make these vehicles super space age. Of course, we're dealing with a transport operation, and why would this, this truck not want to fit into your standard um, diesel operation so it becomes um, a, a truck of choice and of course that's the reason why it looks like this why wouldn't it it, it does look extremely um, efficient and a, and a proper road vehicle if you like let's put our seatbelt on and we'll see how this thing actually works and performs and I said with a with a, a potential range of 280 kilometers or 175 miles it's a very useful piece of equipment 
there we go right so off we go um of course you know as with most electric vehicles and we've driven quite a few you know this is a very quiet very smooth vehicle loads of power straight away and it's off the mark you know very very quickly and for a big vehicle it's 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 pretty smart and pretty fast you know it's right off the mark of course no noise at all brilliant and you never ever ever get tired of, of of being involved with electric vehicles and certainly as you start to move away from the light vehicles and into the heavy side it's it's a great experience a truck like this 280 kilometers of range 175 miles very good really good of course proof of the pudding's in the eating but we're, we're doing some trials at the moment so we'll report back on that but there's no reason to believe with a power pack this size that that range is not achievable I mean, look at it you know no noise at all really quick and very positive you know, for those that for the eagle eyes around you you know it's been pouring down outside so it's a little bit misty in the cab but you know other than that very quickly demisting and very quick off its off its feet 11 tons of payload so again very very in the up there with with the, with the diesel version and again giving you the opportunity to do all the things you would want to do from an urban delivery vehicle that you come to love and expect and of course a lot of customers that we have 200 kilometers a day is plenty and a vehicle that's capable of doing 280 kilometers gives you that extra kind of piece again when we, we spoke about charging earlier you know ac and dc charging so overnight charging slow 22 kilowatts faster charging if you need to uh, it's 150 kilowatts and of course a 250 a 282 kilowatt power pack you know we're talking about a couple of hours maximum to charge a vehicle like this so you can bring that vehicle back in and you can reuse it if that's what you wanted to do and that's the, the real the, the real great thing about this for those who are looking at understanding the, the cost of electricity you know an average cost of, 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 of electricity at the moment is about 15 pence a kilowatt hour you know 250 kilowatts of usable space in a battery pack like this gives you a feel a real feel for just how much it will cost you to charge this vehicle as opposed to running from a diesel version and you can honestly say you can really see how much money you're going to save in diesel and of course your co2 credentials will increase and your you know esr csg piece increases exponentially as you become more involved in, in, in this footprint but you know for me what's not to love it really is a lovely vehicle and let's take it out for a run and then um, we'll see how we go on and we'll report back later Getting back to uh, to lancashire daft um the base we've, we've, we've picked the vehicle up from today and and we're very lucky to have an amazing dealership to, to work with and, and Paul Entrust and his team have been really um, helpful and, 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 and constructive over many years and, and you know again today is no exception you know all courtesy um, been given to us to, to allow us to look at this vehicle talk about it and of course if we want to buy one which of course we're in the process of doing and I think I think the 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 challenge for most people is to is to get on the journey with this and I think you know if there's a journey to start today this is absolutely a vehicle to start the journey with and, and you know that it, it's been well thought out there is a lot of things going for it of course with with EV um, the challenges in this space is making sure that, that you have the right job or the right mission for this vehicle and and the partnership or the or the, or, the, or the working process with Pro Green is to, to, to ensure that what we're able to do is ensure that you actually have a mission and the mission that is, is suitable for this for this vehicle otherwise it's a, an extremely expensive ornament and I think it's, a, it's, it's, it's really incumbent upon both ourselves and the client to, to work together to find solutions to make these things work and, and every company we deal with has got a solution for something to start their journey with and, and this vehicle has got everything going for it that and especially when the earlier part of the journey is with us today you know we're on an early part of the journey this is absolutely the best electric vehicle of this size that I've driven up to now and and that is really saying something it's, it's, a, it's, it's an immense vehicle it's got all of the things you want none of the things that you don't want and the great thing about it as well of course it's just a normal vehicle for a lot of people you know you have the ability to have something really great really clean co2 benefits yes csr esg 
and it's still a normal truck that you, you, your, your drivers are used to using and used to be able to drive and deliver with and you know again for me what's not to love that it's just it's just really confident it's a great piece of kit we've been out for a couple of hours now and do you know I could drive this all day you know clearly um, I'd be arrested if I just drive off and don't bring it back of course but uh, that's that's fine too you know and very soon we're looking forward to having this kind of equipment on our fleet with people that we're working with right across the UK and, and, and for me that's uh, that's extremely important to to be able to be in that space so you know it's uh, it's with that really um, I'm bringing my, my vehicle back here and, and, and just uh, being part of the, today to have a look at this kind of thing and really make it and bring it to life for people is, is a great pleasure for me. As I always say, um, I guess when it comes to this space, I never get tired of driving green green vehicles. And you know, if we can and you enjoy what we do, hopefully you'll subscribe and and look forward into seeing some of the new things that we've got coming coming across uh, over the next few months. And this is just one one element of those things. Um, I get I guess. For me, that's it today. A short interlude into something which I think is really special. And, you know, we'd look forward to being involved in your journey um, whenever you want to take that journey. And, and um, we'd like to thank you again for, 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 for listening to me waffling on about a topic that I love talking about. Thanks, guys. See you soon.